As it fell upon a day in the merry month of May, sitting in a pleasant shade which a grove of myrtles made, beasts did leap and birds did sing, trees did grow and plants did spring. Everything did banish moan, save the nightingale alone. She, poor bird, as all forlorn, leaned her breast up till a thorn. And there sung the dolefulest ditty that to hear it was great pity. Fie, 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 now would she cry. To rue, to rue, by and by. That to hear her so complain, scarce I could from tears refrain. For her grief so lively shown made me think upon mine own. Ah, thought I, thou mournst in vain. None takes pity on thy pain. Senseless trees, they cannot hear thee. Ruthless beasts, they will not cheer thee. King Pandayan, he is dead. All thy friends are lapped in lead. All thy fellow birds do sing, careless of thy sorrowing. Even so, poor bird, like thee, none alive will pity me.